to my channel. My name is Sun Sims, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. I do want to go ahead and put in a little disclaimer that this video is being pre-filmed, and so like in my last video, I will mention if my voice sounds a little coarse, I apologize. I am dealing with uh, some allergies or something that is causing me to cough. It is not COVID. Um, I just, I feel the need to put in that disclaimer. Like any time I have any sort of sinus or upper respiratory thing going on, even if I know it's not COVID, like, and I've been seen by a doctor and told it's not COVID, I still feel the need to, like, tell people, like, I promise I don't have COVID. Um, anyway, we are building a apartment for opposite roommates. This was actually a suggestion by one of my roommates. Um, I was like, hmm, what should I build? I don't know what to build. Um, give me suggestions. And she said that she imagined one was for, like, an artist or a musician, and the other one was, like, a rocket scientist or engineer or something so very like opposite kinds of professions and that one of them was like super messy and the other one was like super 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 neat like neat freak neat um so that's kind of what i went for here um we just flew through the kitchen um i did another u-shaped kitchen as per usual i do think i go in and clutter it up a little bit more though i kept the common areas fairly, uh, I kept the common areas, I won't say fairly, I kept the common areas very neat. I imagine the neat freak keeps them clean and like even if the messy roommate were to like go in and like make a mess, I feel like the neat freak would clean up their mess immediately. Um, so that is why the common areas are so clean. All right, this is the third time I'm recording this section of the voiceover because um, the first time I messed up and the second time I messed up. And so now we're on to the third time. Anyway, um, the kitchen is coming to be mostly done. I go back and add some details later. Um, but now we move on to the main living area. Um, the living area is fairly small because the two bedrooms are pretty long and narrow. Um, so the, the living room dining area is very small. Um, we just have the one couch and they put in a TV. Uh, yeah, like I said, I imagine that the neat freak keeps the common areas very clean. Um, but yeah, adding in a simple table here in the by the entryway, I, I figured that there was enough room for the table and I didn't really know what else I would need to put in there. I do use this plant, which is one of the plants that was created by a CC creator um, for the 21st birthday update. I think it's a Harry, but I might be confusing the... Um, creators and if I am I'm sorry um but anyway putting in some art pieces I imagine that the artist of the house decorates the house with her own art or his own art um I was kind of imagining a female but you could easily make it a male it really doesn't matter um either gender works just fine or any gender would work just fine uh but yes so that is about it for the living room we are putting a couple things back in the kitchen, um, adjusting this plant on the table, and then I think I try and find something to go on that wall next to the door to the hallway. And then we move on into the bedrooms. The first bedroom we do is for the art slash musicians, artist slash musicians room. Uh, I think this is the messier roommate. Um, I use this bed from Eco Lifestyle. It's one of the fabricated beds. And then I um, put in a piano and an easel for them. I later go ahead and add a guitar out in the main living area. Um, I keep this room pretty light. Um, it does not stay clean though. Um, I put down lots of piles of laundry. I don't know that this person ever cleans up their laundry or how often they do their laundry. Uh, and then I put in like old newspapers so that way they don't get paint on the floor when they're doing their art. I put in some string lights in this room because I thought they looked pretty and I thought they were fun. And then I believe I just look for some other artwork to go on the walls. I do find these longer string lights that fit better to do two long and one short at least for this wall length. Um, that's what works. And then I put in this like macrame hanger thing um, from the paranormal stuff pack and then I just put up some more paintings on the wall again I imagine that this person painted them for their own room in the corner I put in I end up putting in 
the ladder thing that has plants on it. Um, that, the thing that, that thing, no, it's not, I haven't pulled it up yet. Um, the, yeah, you'll see in a minute. Um, it's the teal ladder planter thing. There it is. There it is now. Um, yeah, but I make it purple. And then I just put a bunch of papers on the floor too. I imagine they don't really have a great filing system or storage system and a bunch of letters. Maybe they have friends and that they are pen pals with. Um, so yeah, I just put a bunch of stuff on the floor. Not a very neat sim. Um, but yeah. And then we move on to the scientist's room. I give them a much cleaner room. Um, it is kind of a blue color scheme though. Um, I give them a laptop and then I use some stranger little posters above the bed, a cow plant, and some sort of science-y poster. Um, I do a rocket ship poster there, putting in a simple rug, and then I think I do, um, I don't remember what I put on this wall, but I put some, oh, I do a chess table. That's what I do. And then I don't think I put anything above it. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I don't remember. We will find out here in just a moment. Um, I do. And then we're moving on to the bathroom. And that is about it for this build. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you never miss an upload. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Bye.